Tell the ribbon. The war between Israel and Hamas continues to rage as the Netanyahu government ordered the evacuation of some 1.1 million people in northern Gaza. The order could signal an impending ground offensive even though the military said that while it was preparing a decision had not yet been made. The Israeli military pulverized Hamas-ruled Gaza Strip with air strikes and blocked deliveries of food, water, fuel and electricity in the region. Meanwhile, soldiers from a celebrated Israeli Special Forces unit are reportedly ready to rescue Israeli hostages shifted to Gaza by Hamas. This is Sirith Matkal, world's most efficient counter-terrorism forces experts in hostage rescue missions beyond Israel's border and Israel's secret black operations unit. This is their story. Modelled on the British Special Air Service Regiment, the Sirith Matkal has been placed on standby due to its expertise in hostage recovery. Commanders of the Hamas military group claim they are holding at least 130 people, including non-Israelis, hostage. They are being held as human shields to deter Israeli attacks and hence, even with the Sirith Matkal's elite soldiers, bringing home the Israeli hostages safely is an extremely risky task. For the captives and prisoners held by the resistance, we confirm here and make it clear we are fully committed to treat them in accordance with our religious values and the rules of international humanitarian law. But in the same time, we are really worried that, at the, that as the Israeli aggression is everywhere in Gaza, they might be the victims to the Israeli army bombardment like our people. Sarit Matkal, the unit, was set up in 1957 at the initiative of its first commander, Abraham Adnan. Lots of soldiers with prior experience in surveillance, explosives, intelligence and special operations joined up. It is one of the most shadowy units in the Israeli military. Simply speaking, it is a field intelligence gathering unit tasked with conducting deep reconnaissance behind enemy lines to obtain strategic intelligence and conducting black operations beyond the borders of Israel. Its existence wasn't acknowledged for almost 30 years and its personnel were selected purely based on their skills and referrals. Only since the 1980s have they started accepting volunteers who are selected following a grueling test. The test lasts several days and in this test, the volunteers are probed for any weakness, emotional or physical by doctors, psychologists and special forces personnel. Only upon successful completion does one commence their training. In 1976, Sirith Matkal worked with other Israeli Defence Force units to free hostages from an Air France plane that had been hijacked by terrorists and flown to Entebbe in Uganda. As an innovative tactic, it used a black Mercedes that was a perfect copy of the Ugandan leader's personal car, and the ruse fooled the local troops. Interestingly, the force leader for the Entebbe landing operations was Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Netanyahu, the brother of the incumbent Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Sirith Matkal also engaged in many counter-terror attacks and assassinations. Sirith Matkal Commando Ehud Barak, who later served as the Israeli PM between 1999 to 2001, led a raid called Operation Spring of Youth into Lebanon in the year 1973. He was dressed as a woman. Barak directed the unit to assassinate three enemy leaders. The operation destroyed terrorist command posts and killed 50 to 100 of them including the three senior leaders. 
Ehud Barak, who had joined the unit while still in his late teens, rose to the leadership of Sairat Matkal. Incumbent Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, too, served under Barak in Sairat Matkal. Meanwhile, the 13th Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, served in the elite special forces unit, too. Every recruit undergoes two-year training, including paratrooper training, explosives, long-range marching, and much more. At the end of the training, they are subjected to four days of captivity, where they are subjected to the harshest treatment. And then, they become a unit that is truly the stuff that legends are made of. Experts are of the view that Sarvat Matkal will be called upon for the hostage rescue in Gaza because of its expertise along with the Yamam Special Forces Unit of Israel's National Police. It is believed captives are being held in tunnels, apartment buildings and military bases in Gaza. Hamas has reportedly said that the hostages are kept in all areas of the Gaza Strip and has threatened to kill its captives if Israeli airstrikes do not stop targeting the sealed-off enclave. There are also fears of casualties during the rescue operations. Israeli Special Forces expert Aaron Cohen, speaking to a British publication, said, A former official of Israel's Mossad intelligence service, Avner Abraham, said, Experts believe the Sarat Matkal Special Forces could be deployed for hostage rescue as the Israeli military distracts Hamas with a ground invasion that is expected any time now.